Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick little recipe that we're cooking right now. We're gonna find out if it's any good. It's a little campfire dessert. And what we're looking at is, it's called campfire apple pie. I don't know if I would actually call it that because there's no bread in there, but sliced up a bunch of apples, made a mix of brown sugar and cinnamon with some cranberries in there, just some dried cranberries, threw them in. That's our timer, so we're gonna find Timer's out. Timer's on. Threw them in with some butter on the aluminum foil, and then we're cooking them right now. And we're gonna see how they turn out and how they taste here shortly. So a little recipe for you guys that we're gonna give you our taste test momentarily. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, he talk to me. How, how's this apple? This apple is delicious because I'm using my custom-made spoon. Okay, on top of that, the flavor, Wes. I don't how care about, you, about how that. About, my spoon's awesome. <laughs> perfect texture, perfect flavor. Good. Very good. Awesome. I taste cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> good God. We had to have and that's my buddy Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we almost left him behind. <laughs> It tastes like pie. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. I didn't even knew you were a fan. My favorite was Pink Ladies. Those are good too. Amazing. Guys, I've now cooked this recipe three times and it is delicious. I love it. But I wanna hear from you guys as well as maybe some recipes that you've either seen that you'd like me to try out and cook. Cause I wanna start doing that here in 2020 is starting to take you guys out and maybe just do a recipe video and tell you, hey, this worked or it didn't, or you gotta really think about this before you would try this recipe or hey, the next time you're out camping, try this. So I'd love to hear either family recipes or things that you maybe have seen online that you would like me to try out or cookbooks, things like that. Cause I think that'd be a fun little integration into the channel. But I do wanna take a brief moment and just break down how I made this recipe and the portions and those type of uh, activities. Now, the first thing is for portions, I did one apple per person the three times that I've made this and that's worked out pretty well. If you're super hungry, obviously you can do more, but that's a good, you know, if you have four people going with you, bring four apples, it's that simple. Uh, I would cut those into about an eighth of an inch thickness slices so that they'll cook pretty quick. So that's what we did. And then I just eyeballed the cinnamon and the sugar uh, so if you can try it a couple times, if you like it sweeter, you can obviously add more. If you don't like it that sweet, you can back it off. You know, I did maybe about like a fourth of a cup of brown sugar for four apples. Uh, and then, you know, just a good amount of cinnamon and then maybe uh, a fourth of a cup of uh, cranberries. You know, that's kind of what I started with. And then you can kind of differentiate. Do you think that's enough? And just eyeball it. And then I did about a fourth of a cube of butter as well. So not a ton of butter is needed for four apples is, is what I did uh, with that. So you could even kind of figure out how you would want to either add or subtract, but you don't need a ton of butter in there unless you love super buttery things. And then in the uh, fire, we did about 20 minutes and that ended up being perfect, but those were very hot coals. We had had that fire going for a while. We had the heat completely surrounded in it. When I have done in my oven, I've done it at about 400 or even 425, and it's taken about 25 to 30 minutes that way for four apples. So just kind of keep that in consideration. You can crank up the heat, try and speed up the process, different things like that. But that's the basic idea with it. Now, some other ideas that I've tried as well is you could do graham crackers if you wanna get some bread in there and you know have kind of more of an actual apple pie feel, but you gotta do a lot of crushed graham crackers. So you gotta basically do a proportion of two graham crackers per apple at least is what I've found to get, get any sort of kind of bread texture in there. Another idea you could try is granola. Throw some granola in there as well and that could give you a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a bread feel to or you know wheat based, you know whatever it would be, oats um, feel in there. You could throw oatmeal in there if you wanted to, kind of mix it up. Uh, you could try honey, you could try maple syrup. Just add kind of, it's a, it's a great kind of template to play around with and find uh, a uh, tweaking of the recipe that really connects with you. But it's so simple, tastes delicious, and you can cook it literally in the campfire, on the grill, or in the oven. So it's really something that you can make anywhere and is 
awesome. So thanks guys so much for coming over today. Uh, love to hear your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think about this recipe, things that I could maybe try in it. Check out the other video popping up. Subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time here at Gideon's Tactical. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.